Hey, what's going on everybody? YouTube, I'm glad you're tuning in. Look, I, I just had to make this video and I don't know when I'm going to post this, so please forgive me if it's a little bit late in the game because I got a lot of shit I juggle and I hope you can forgive somebody like that because I'm eclectic, right? Um, I just got recently just watched a video that I was able to watch at the end of the day. And it comes from a friend of mine. She's, you know, she's awesome. She, she, you know, she digs into this kind of stuff. And or some people send her stuff in. And I really don't stay plugged in. But it's always fascinating for me whenever I come across some things that I want to share my ideas and my insight on. And so I was like, okay, I'll entertain it. Because I already know, like, the world is pretty fucked up at the moment, right? Let's just be real. This is fucking ridiculous. But there's some really cool shit happening too, which is what I tap into. And there's a lot of people, if they're on that vibe, they're tapping into that energy. So you know, I, I live in this um, manifestation of a reality where I have to kind of entertain everything. So while I might be in a cool vibe state at one moment, I have to also kind of navigate into the stress realm and, and the um, unknown and curious and cautionary and and um, whatever gives us paranoia, all that kind of stuff, I still have to encompass it at some point in some evaluation of my life. It doesn't matter. It never, I never am afraid. I'm never away from it. But at the same time, I also have learned to try to say, hey, well, what is it? Now? Let me entertain it. You know, I'm always in the idea of the Tai Chi way. And, and I, I've, I've trained in the past. I've dealt with stuff like this in the past with, um, you know, you know, practicing Tai Chi and getting in a certain flow and a rhythm. And it's been beneficial. It's super good from, uh, it's like a, it's like an action of meditation. It's like if some people don't like doing chores, see, I like digressing. If some people don't like doing chores, they can just do Tai Chi. See, I like doing chores because you actually get things that are done beneficial in your life and you get meditation. So, you know, put on the right track and you're in the zone, in the Zen, what you want. Anyways, get into the video. This is something that I've noticed. That every time I'm seeing these videos on people talking about debunking one institution and um, kind of talking about why the government might do this and, and, and all this institution, might, why they might do that. You know, my comments to all this is people wake the fuck up. Um, every, this is an old, it does not take quick, it doesn't take, uh, I'm sorry, I'm impatient with my words and my logic and my thought process right now. That's why I am going to fuck up and saying it. <laughs> I, I'm almost exhausted. I've been like this for over years. I get exhausted when you have institutions or people that evaluate information very well and they come together, they want to have a debate and they want to have a discussion and they want to talk about all the intricacies. And, and you got to understand that it doesn't matter. Please listen to me. You are all the people that want to have a discussion and make YouTube podcasts and videos about shit that's going on in our world and, and it gets to be entertaining. It's just purely for entertainment. The effect of how much of it's effective is 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 alarming. It will be alarming to a certain uh, excuse me. It will be effective to a certain point for the masses that watch it because you've got to almost communicate in their language. So most people are are in a language of Hollywood motion picture and and trying to create this um, um, uh, concise or I don't know, that's the wrong word for it, but they're trying to create this idea of understanding between the two. So they want an understanding that fits between their level of motion picture fake reality to something that is real and substantial and all the little bells and whistles that might contribute to something that's called sensational. So they're always trying to evaluate where can I um, make this information seem real and practical. But my point to all this is that, guys, the problem what's happening is that a lot of times these guys are making all these videos like, oh yeah, look at what's going on here, something crazy happening. There's always some fucking crazy shit happening. There's never a moment where there's not something crazy fucking cool happening. I say cool because you understand, like, if you think reality is some, like, dull, boring experience, like, yeah, I have not, I've only experienced the dullness of life in my later years, and it was purely by choice. If I ever wanted to go tap into the crazy realm, I can't go do that right now. That's not going to be a problem. And everybody can. I mean, it doesn't take a rocket science scientist to think like, okay, I can go call up something that's like a sex party, or I can try to get into like these groups and clicks and, and these communication lines where next thing you know, I'm on these different lines of experience. Like it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that shit out. You can do that in a heartbeat, even in the middle of this pandemic that they're making you believe. 
Excuse me. I, I, I've been drinking. Like, this is not a fucking good wine at all. I, I advertise whatever it is I'm consuming in the, in the moment. But that's not a fucking great wine. I don't care for it. Anyway. The problem is, and I swear I'm going to get to the point. I always like to delay my videos for the fucking gist and the guts of it. But I'm going to hit you right now. The problem is, is that people that are on these videos making their points are playing by the game. They're playing by the rules of the game. And they're busy trying to decipher it. And they're trying to decipher, or they're trying to deconstruct everything and the patterns and paths associated with it as, like, they're trying to basically, like, presuppose or assume that there's some legitimate rules being played. Like, surely, or expectations, or whatever you want to call it, but these guys are presupposing that the institution's been acting in your good favor all this time. And they're presupposing that no, well, surely the, that somebody can't get away or they're not trying to get away with murder, basically. Um, yeah, it, it's been happening already. <laughs> it's already been happening for a long time. So why wouldn't it be something to prescribe to or even um, just continue to per per perpetuate, right? So that's what's happening. They're perpetuating this shit. And, and everybody is busy trying to have all these stupid discussions about yeah, so they're interesting. We should bring them up into court and sue them. And then, you know, I love that people are like, oh my kick, but this shit is like old. This shit is old. Yeah, maybe it's going to be handled on a certain level of consciousness. But I still consider it's a low level right now. Like, how do we fix it? It's the a, it's a best question what we do. Um, we, we allow uh, information to spread. Like, when we have videos like this, Maybe some of these get kind of to the forefront. I'm not saying like what I'm saying is the ultimate message, but I'm, there's a lot of people that are out here saying the same things I'm, I'm sure I'm saying. Those voices need to be up in forefront because we need to understand, we need to get like full circle on everything that's happening to us and acknowledge it for what the fuck it is and then figure out then from there what we're going to do about it. So, okay, so, like, here, here, let's start off. Like, I'm just going to give a generic one. And I don't think I'm going to be great, but fuck it. You know, because I'm on my, uh, my energy retention. So my energy is very fucking focused. And even when I'm drinking, it doesn't even fucking matter. I can still produce. I love it. I love it. All right, so let's hit it. One thing that people can do is they can start to look at alternative sources of information. That's one thing we can definitely do. Can now go over and we can look at something like BitChute. BitChute is the number one source for anybody that is sitting here on YouTube or any other freaking platform trying to gain some leg up on information. YouTube is like a common source, so it's kind of like if you have to Google something, you YouTube something too. This is great that they made this kind of vibe, but it's outdated for like serious information that you want to consider because now it's while it is abstract, it's still controlled. It's like a controlled abstract that they have going on over there because a lot of the material that they are censoring in YouTube, at least as you have another video streaming service that will give you the alternative. And if you're anybody that's really trying to get more aware or elevate your consciousness, you won't just sit on one platform. You're going to look at other platforms. So my first step, my first suggestion would be Get on other platforms like BitChute. Um, there's some other ones too. You might be able to find some cool Instagram channels. But you know, like you got to do what you got to do in this like short time frame. And I'm not like saying like a whole bunch of other list of things, but I'm hoping people can understand that their alternatives are out there. And then it's going to give you like a, a super amount of deeper awareness and maybe click with some people that are like like minded and that like are in the search and pursuit that you're in. Because not a lot of people know that you're like, not a lot of people feel that they can take this leap and have somebody that's going to be there on the other side to catch them. It's like, yeah, you actually have like a greater hole over here that you ever never even dreamed of. Like we're all going through this. So I hope this is inspiring and somebody watches it. Like go and check out the alternative things because you're going to find your, like your, your family over there. <laughs> Guess what? When you die, you leave all this shit behind. And what's left behind here 
it's like a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of what's in the infinite. So you gotta think like this shit don't even fucking matter here. So if you're holding on to something that you feel like is the greater whole, but you like there may be a chance for there to be some information in the alternative, you need to freaking look at the alternative because you might find something that resonates more with you than what you're currently looking at. I'm sure it does for me. I, I mean, I've sat in the both sides, and I, I really just, I did it one period. I think it was over a year. I used to watch what the mainstream public would watch. I would also prescribe to my, my alternative community, maybe it's conspiracy information, just alternative information in general. And I, and I liked it because I now get kind of both sides. And I wanted to understand, like, what would people were thinking mainstream? What would the people thinking that were not mainstream? How does two would compare? And... And that, that was my lifestyle. That was my experience. And it was very interesting. But I also had to be very careful. I found, like, I could tell which side was not feeling the most comfortable. The one side that didn't feel the most comfortable, I hate to say it, was mainstream. Mainstream had a very calm. It was, it, it was so unnerving at the delivery of what information would be to the, to the spirit and how to try to resonate with that spirit so that the people would just... Basically, just give up everything. You gotta understand. Church goes back to the Greek word. Oh, what was it? Um, I, I gotta make sure I'm making this correct in what I'm saying. But if you go back far enough, I know the Greek word. I think it goes to no. Eventually, it's Greek. I think it starts. It goes from church, and then it goes to Kirk, and then Kirk goes to Circe, which is Greek. And then Circe was a Greek goddess that was always uh, the enchantress that would it welcome in, you know, the, uh, people outsiders and get them convince them to give up their riches and then people will always say well isn't that funny how church could do the same thing it was like this crazy thing that um jordan maxwell came up with and, and in a lot of his speeches now whether or not he was right and correct and what he was making for his statements and word origins is another thing but uh, some things do can't stand the test of time but we have this is why i'm saying like the world is much 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 bigger than what you've been educated on what you think you learned in school you gotta, you gotta go through it. You gotta experience it. When you figure that out, and when you start to dig into those books and chapters and stuff, and, and even in the Bible, there's some cool references. I, I challenge you to really examine it from a different perspective, and also learn something that you maybe you've never even heard before. And then, then you can kind of understand like what you were in school for to get programmed for was like a, really just programming. I hate to say it. And, and then they give you freaking tests and stuff, and then decide your IQ off of it or your your merit of what you should be um, accepted into a college of more programming. It was like, they get you to buy into a program so fucking hard that it's hard to refute it. And then you think like, let me say it like this. Even if you you excuse this whole idea of a program, like this, this is the ideal way considering what I've always known and my parents have known. Um, and you go that line of thinking, you will still eventually recognize or realize that that line of thinking, I would hope you would realize that it is still such a small fragment of what you can learn in this world. And if you don't, and you think that's the only way there it, that is, and there it is, it's like you're really, <laughs> you're second guessing yourself and learning what the heck is available out here in information. And, and you can do that whatever you want. You can choose to be ignorant like Cypher did in the Matrix. That's what I like to prescribe to. I like that the ignorance of a lot of this crazy stuff in the world. Um, but unlike Cypher, unfortunately, I do acknowledge what is also um, damaging to it. And if it's something that I can navigate away from, I will choose to do it. That's the only thing I want to mention really in this video. I, I made it really fast and I talked a lot of really crazy stuff because I didn't really know what I was going to comment on. But it was the video and my, my little girl was like she might be waking up. But um, anyways, thank you so much for listening. And Talk to you later. Like, subscribe, share if you like that stuff. Uh, if not, it's okay too. I still love you. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. Peace.